Play. Here we go, 94 championship. Well, a good start for Steffi. Always nice to win the first point of a match, and especially a Grand Slam championship match. Fifteen all. Of course, they met in the semi-finals here 12 months ago. Graf, the winner on that occasion in straight sets. I think this is going to be a key to the match, the serve of Graf. If uh, Arancha Sanchez Vicario can get some good returns back into play. Well. Arancha said she'd also have to take some chances in this match because Graf is deadly off that forehand. Arancha said she's going to have to come to the net more often than she usually does. Second serve. Forty thirty. Oh. Oh. Game one. Overpowering the backhand a little, Sanchez Vicario after a long rally. Love 15. And great depth on the ball from both players. And that's what's going to make it difficult for Arancha to get to the net against Steffi. Arantxa also said that she couldn't afford to let Steffi get an early lead on her in this match and uh, in a bit of trouble in this first service game for her. Love 30. Steffi Graf set a single season prize money record in 1993. She earned $2,821,000 and some odd hundred dollars. Now the first break point of the match for Graf. Some nervous errors coming from uh, Sanchez Vicario at this early stage.
Game one. Two love to Graf. Graf leads two games to none. In 15 tournaments last year, Graf made the final 14 times and won 10 of those 15 tournaments. It wasn't a bad year when you consider she had time out for surgery to have bone chips removed from her foot and had a few other nagging injury uh, problems as well. So it's Steffi Graf who makes the first venture to the net and very strong on the overhead. Affirmative nod of the head from Sanchez Vicario. That's a better performance. 30, Forcing Graf into error. Thirty. Two point eight million, of course, didn't include the fifty eight point eight carat diamond studded <laughs> tennis ball trophy. All the millions that she receives in endorsements. Next. First. Uh -huh. Was just waiting for that. Down the line, then moved quickly to the centre. Knew exactly where the reply was coming, Wendy. Well, the good part about it was she didn't put a lot of pace on this slice, so therefore all the pace had to be generated by a rancher. And good anticipation at the net by Steffi. Three games to love, Graf. She was suckered to the net by a great drop shot, and even though she reached it, she was no chance of winning the point once the ball got onto Graf's forehand. Love 30. As Ellen Stone said, Arancha does look for support from her family and friends after every point. And I don't know whether that's such a good idea because you need to concentrate on the match. And if you keep looking up at someone in the stands, how much are you actually focused on your own match? I don't think it's a bad thing to do it occasionally. occasionally yeah. Fifteen thirty.
It all comes down to how many times can someone nod their head during a match. <laughs> Fifteen forty. Rough forehand doing the damage again and again and again. Quiet, please. Players are ready. Thank you. Well, Steffi's last loss in a Grand Slam event to someone other than Sellers was to Arancha Sanchez Vicario in the quarters of the 1992 US Open. But at the moment, Steffi's in command of this match. Oh. 15 on. Fifteen thirty. Thirty all. Well, that serve at one hundred and fifty five Ks and Steffi's. Fastest serve for the tournament has been at 169 k's. She and Jana Novotna having the two fastest serves in women's tennis at this particular tournament. We all know Brenda Schultz has the biggest serve <laughs> in women's tennis. Volley played by Arancha Sanchez Vicario, but uh, still wasn't good enough. Well, when Arancha came to the net, she hung to the centre of the court then, and then Steffi hit it up the line, and that opened up the cross court winning shot for her. just tapping herself on the head with the racket there because she knows she made a small tactical error. Well, it's good to see Steffi coming into the net, but Arancha just waited for Steffi to hit the backhand volley back to her.
Advantage Sanchez Vicario. And a break point, the break back point for Sanchez Vicario. of the forehand from Graf forcing Sanchez Vicario into error. Well, Rancha did say that she'd have to come to the net a little bit more in this match, but each time she's had an opportunity where she's hit a deep ball to Steffi's backhand, she hasn't come in behind it. Well, clever ploy by Graf because Sanchez Vicario was advancing rapidly on the net, put up the high ball. Well, the high defensive lob is a great play on the rebound ace because that ball is going to bounce so high and it enables you to get back into the point. At this point for five love to Graf. The scoreline reads, Graf 5 love. Women's Championship trophy. That is what is at stake here. And a difference of $230,000 in prize money. $460,000 for the winner. $230,000 for the runner-up. Steffi Graf has won here three times before. 88, Six, 89, please. 90. Arancha Sanchez for Carrier. One Grand Slam victory in the French Open Championship. Love 15. Love 15. And at the moment, Arantxa would love to get her name on the scoreboard. Well, it's on the scoreboard, but she'd love to have a game beside it. Fifteen. But at the 1992 French Open, Arantxa started off a match against Steffi Graf by winning that set six love. So she's embarrassed uh, Steffi once or twice. And no player likes to lose a set six love, let alone in the final of a Grand Slam tournament. Tremendous ability, Graf, to, in the middle of a rally, pick up the pace 30% on that forehand. Graft just you, moving Arancha around from side to side, then finally gets the forehand that she loves, and that sets up two set points. Ball. Game in the first set, Graf, six games to go.
That is uh, an embarrassing scoreline. Wendy Turnbull, who was the last female player to lose a set to love in the Australian Open Championship? I'll take Final. credit for that. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I've lost the first set to six love to Hannah Mandlikova in 1980. Thank you, Bruce McAvaney. <laughs> but I came back and uh, the second set was 7-5. So don't count a rancher out yet. Love 15. Fifteen on. Steffi has an extremely high ball toss, but she really gets her body weight going into the serve. Yep, that's another nod of the head. Mounting up. 40, 50. Well, you'd love to keep the ball away from Steffi's forehand, but that's impossible as we watch it from the reverse angle camera. Forty thirty. Not many errors from Steffi's racket at all. Game Graf. Seven games First on the game run to Steffi Graf. Six love, one love. And down here at courtside, the Steffi's forehand has really had the crowd gasping in awe. It's just been sensational. But I think if you watch her feet, that's one of the keys to why her forehand is so good. The feet are never still. She's always on her toes and getting into position quickly. Oh, 15. Steffi said her performance against Kamiko Date was very mediocre in the semi-finals, but... Certainly not mediocre today. Net. Oh. 15 all. Well, only one double fault from each player. And Arancha doesn't have a big serve. She just spins it in. And most of the serves that uh, she has are just around 110 Ks. And I mean, someone like Steffi, who can run around and hit that forehand return, really puts you on the defensive. Watching this from Steffi's and and Arancha said she'd have to come into the net more and she really hasn't been up there. Had a couple of chances and Steffi doesn't give you many chances to get to the net. Forty fifty. Oh, chance at least for uh, Sanchez Vicario to get her name up in lights. Forty thirty. 
Irving just nodding the lines person in confirmation of the call. Yes, quiet. Oh. Out. Game centers be coming. What a great round of encouragement at last. Amelia there urging her on and the crowd likewise. One game more. Well, Steffi Graf had won a Grand Slam championship, six love, six love before, and that was against Natalia Zvereva at the 88 French Open. So Arantxa is on the scoreboard. Steffi actually has late preparation off the forehand, but she gets her body weight going forward, turns her shoulders. Steffi doesn't usually follow her serve into the net, so that's an indication of how confident she is Thank in this you. match. And her volley just right in the corner. Forty The twenty second Grand Slam final, Steffi Graf. Graf literally racing through it. Six love, two one. Fifteen. Another example where when she can get to the net. Fifteen. She can win the points. Thirty forty. A lot of unforced errors from Steffi, from uh, Arancha Sanchez Vicario. Oh. Game one. Yeah. 
Leads three games to one. Just, uh, his coach, Heinz Gunthardt, there. Also at court side. With, uh, Quiet, please. Thank you. Peter and uh, Heidi Graf sitting just behind him. Rancha is a fighter and she's not going to give up in this match. And what a great overhead she hits. Also does extremely well in doubles. She got to the semi-finals of the ladies' doubles here with Jana Novotna. Also the semi-finals of the mixed with her brother Emilio. Lost both of those encounters, but she's in the final of ladies' singles here today. Steffi Graf's only ever lost 23 matches in Grand Slam tournaments. Won 195. Arancha Sanchez, Vicario has only ever lost 23 matches and won 91. Sanchez Vicario breaks serve. 
Well, a very big game, that one for Sanchez Vicario. She almost ran to the change of ends there, and as they both crossed at the net, she tapped the net with her racket as if to say, hey, I'm on the way back, and uh, she needed that game badly because well, Graf had a point for 4-1, and had she won that game, I think it was well and truly over. I think we'll see a little bit more of a contest from here. Love 15. Sanchez Vicario to the mid-court for a forehand winner. Well, the thing is, she doesn't get many balls that land mid-court to enable her to come up with a shot like that. Quiet, please. Thank you. Well, Steffi's won the point most times when she's drop shot at Arantxa. It wasn't quite good enough, the drop shot, but Arantxa is very solid off that overhead. Thirty. Oh. Everybody by surprise. <laughs> 40, 30. The first ace for Arancha Sanchez Vicario, right down the tee, right on the line, and that was at 152 Ks. Her fastest serve for the tournament has been 155. Well, it was the right idea. She tried to slice the forehand to Steffi's backhand, just a little wide of the sideline. Back to Deuce. Well, I think Arantxa is trying to put more pace on her first serve and uh, she's starting to miss a few. So break back for Graf and go to a lead of four games to two. A wry smile Lovely on the face of Marissa Vicario. Well, she's probably trying to go for a bit more because while she's had a high percentage of first serves in, the number of points she's winning off it is uh, very, very low. Yes, there's a big difference between Steffi and Arancha's serves. Love 15. 
graph 65% of first serves in and winning the point 68% of the time. Sanchez Vicario 72% in, but winning only 38% of those points. First serve. Fifteen. And when these two played in the final of the Virginia Slims Championships at Madison Square Garden last November, it was the best of five sets. Steffi won in four. And at the time, I thought Arancha needs to improve her serve if she's going to start beating someone like Steffi consistently, especially in big uh, matches. You just can't afford to spin those first serves in. Oh, it's dropped in. So dropped in. She was there for it, had the play on it, and had an open court to hit it to. Well, there's that saying, when in doubt, hit it. And uh, also there's another saying that Francois Deux, great French player, had, it's better to be lucky than good, but then when you have both, <laughs> you're unbeatable. <laughs> and Steffi... Uh, Fourteen thirty. Game five. Five games to two. No harm done. Well, Steffi's aiming to win her fourth consecutive Grand Slam championship. In actual fact, I think uh, Arancha ran into that one. <laughs> Not too often Graf gets caught on the wrong foot. Steffi's already won three Grand Slams in a row. And if she wins the Australian Open this time for four consecutive Grand Slams, she'll be doing it for the second time in her career. She won four, or she won five in 88 and 89. And only two other players have won more than four consecutive Grand Slams. Margaret Court won six in 69 and 70. 15, 40. And Martina Navratilova won six in 83 and 84. Two match points for Steffi Graf, who looks set to join Quite the elite nice. group. <laughs> she was going to win it with the biggest forehand in history <laughs> just uh, overcooked it by about uh, eight feet and she wanted to make sure that one wasn't coming back <laughs> and it didn't <laughs>
Third chance for the match for Steffi Graf. Just a matter of time. Will she wrap it up at a fourth chance? Yes, she does. Game set match ball. Six love, six two. For the fourth time, Steffi Graf wins the Australian Open Singles Championship.